In this example, I would like to take my function f of x, which is a polynomial function. It looks like we have some irrational values as well as rational values. And I would like to rewrite it in this form, where I have the divisor being multiplied by the quotient, and then our remainder plus r kind of trails along at the end. So the k value that we're given is 2 minus the square root of 5. So we're going to use synthetic division. We're going to work this division process, taking this polynomial function f of x, dividing it by x minus k. So our k value was given here. And then we'll see what we have. So let's put this 2 minus the square root of 5 out front and do our little bars here for our synthetic division algorithm. Remember with synthetic division, we're concerned about the coefficients. So I'll put the 3 out front. Then we have negative 6 negative 15, and then these values together are the constants, so 9 radical 5 minus 24. And this will be my remainder right here. Go ahead and write remainder, just kind of, I like to put it in a box, keep it separate. Okay, so bring the 3 down, okay? Let's multiply now 2 minus radical 5 times 3, and that will give me 6 minus 3 radical 5, and then I add these columns. It looks like the negative 6 and the positive 6 will cancel, so I just have negative 3 radical 5 right there. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and multiply the negative 3 radical 5 by the 2 and the negative radical 5, and it looks like it will give me negative 6 radical 5 plus, looks like 15. And the way I got that 15 is the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 makes a real 5, then multiply it by 3, and then the two negatives made the positive here. So it looks like those 15s will cancel. So we have negative 6 radical 5. Okay, and let's go ahead and multiply one more time. 2 times negative 6 radical 5 will be negative uh, 12 radical 5. And then we have the negative radical 5 times the negative 6 radical 5 should be plus 30. So to wrap up, it looks like we have negative 3 radical 5 plus 6 for our remainder there. Okay. Well, we're not concerned with building this up in normal quotient form. Remember, we're concerned with rewriting it in this divisor times quotient plus remainder form. So let's go ahead and do that. So our f of x then is going to be x minus k, and our k value was 2 minus the square root of 5, and then we'll multiply by the quotient. So this was our constant, our linear term, and our quadratic term. So 3x squared minus 3 times the square root of 5x, and then minus this constant, 6 times the square root of 5. And then to that, we're going to add our remainder, which, uh, let's go ahead and flip it around. So plus 6 minus 3 radical 5. Okay, so let's look at all this together, if it'll all fit on there. So we know that f of x equaled, and we rewrote this, and we had our x minus k, and then here was our quotient, and then here was that remainder. So if we were to multiply all this out and add that remainder to it, we would uh, come back to our original function right here. So that's that example.